Have you just signed up for Google Workspace, excited to use your new professional email, but you're not receiving anything, or maybe you're getting frustrating error messages back? It is a super common problem, and the fix is usually surprisingly simple. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to correctly set up your Amex records. This is the one critical step that tells the internet where to deliver your business mail. By the end of this video, your email will be flowing just perfectly. Let's get it done. Hey everyone and welcome. This is Leah from Guanaca Tech and as a certified Google Workspace administrator, I help businesses every day get the most out of these powerful tools. And today, I'm going to help you. So what even are Amex records? Think of it like this. Your domain name, your business.com, is your street address. The Amex record is the specific instruction for the mail carrier that says, hey, all mail for this address goes to Google's super secure, super reliable mail servers. Without this instruction, your mail just gets lost or doesn't get delivered. Before we start, you will need two things. Access to your Google Workspace admin console and the login credentials or login details for your domain host. That's the company where you bought your domain. This could be GoDaddy, Namechip, Bluehost, or any other domain register. Okay, first things first. We need to get the exact record value Google wants us to use. So start by logging into your Google Workspace admin console at admin.google.com. Now we're going to navigate directly to the mains on the left hand side and then click manage domains. You'll see a list of your domains here. So find the one you need to set up and look for the blue link that says activate Gmail. So let's click on that. This will bring up a new setup wizard. Google wants to confirm how we are activating and we'll make sure to set up MX record or make sure that option is selected and then click on next. On this screen, we're just confirming that we want to proceed. So click on proceed with activation. And here we are. This is the critical information. Notice that for many newer setups, Google has simplified this to one single MX record. As you can see, it is asking for a priority of one. And for the record, the value is going to be smtp.google.com. This is the value we need. So let's leave this browser tab open and we'll be copying from it in another second. All right, now for the main event. We will need to open a new tab and log in to your domain host. Keep in mind that I'm demonstrating this on a Squarespace, but remember that no matter what your provider is, you're always going to look for a section called DNS or DNS settings. So I'm gonna click on my profile picture, then click on domains. I'm gonna look for my domain name and then I'm going to head over to the left-hand side menu, click on DNS, then DNS settings. And right here, we're going to find the section that says custom records. We're gonna click on add record. Then we're gonna bring up the information that was provided by Google. So the host name is going to be always the add symbol. And then for type, we're going to select a max. The priority was the one as Google told us on the previous page. And we're going to confirm that right now. So you can see here, the priority is set to one. And then we're going to copy the last value, which is the point two. So we're gonna click on this button to copy it to our clipboard. And we're gonna paste it over here under the mail server section. For TTL, this really doesn't make any difference, but we always recommend it to set it to the to the least amount that you can see. So in this case, we're going to select 30 minutes. Then we click on save, and uh, we just wait for the changes to be saved, and we have a confirmation down below. A custom record was saved. Now, if we go back to our Google Workspace activation page, we'll see a little checkbox right here to confirm that we have followed these steps, and we finally click on confirm. This is going to get our domain ready. Now, a very important heads up here is that domain names, they take some time to propagate the changes across the internet. So if our domain name verification fails right now, 
we can come back in a couple of minutes. So don't worry about it. Just give it some time and it should be good to go in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm coming back to this page. I just stopped the recording, but as soon as I stopped the recording, uh, the verification or the setup of the MX record just completed. So as I mentioned, just give it a few minutes and it should be good to go as the main names, they take some time to propagate the changes. So we're finally done. We just click on the done button and that was pretty much it. You have successfully configured your MX records and your professional business email is ready to go. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more awesome video tutorials just like this one. If you have any questions or if you got stuck, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to answer every single one of you. And finally, if you are a business owner who would rather have a certified expert handle all of this for you, I do offer freelance administration and setup services. You can find a link to my website in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.